Hey guys, it's LYB Grim Hammer here, and today I'm gonna bring you a new starter guide for Steam release of Dreadnought. Now, I have a starter guide from closed beta. This thing is tailored to all you new players who are just jumping in, seeing this new UI, and learning how to play the game. So, let's go ahead and get started right away. So, first off, we're gonna take a look at the ships here. Um, you guys just starting off, you're getting through the tutorial. You're, you're getting through the, the the first couple of Proven Ground matches and you're getting ready to play the game. So what I recommend is for you guys just joining the game, stay and recruit until you unlock all your tier threes on every manufacturer. Grind out every single one, uh, tier one and tier two. That way you can jump straight into tier three and um, you, you know, you'll have experience in the game. You'll, you'll, you'll learn the kind of the basics and you'll, you'll find out what ship class you enjoy playing. Some people are tack players. Some people enjoy tanking and dreads. Some people like, you know, playing the DPS destroyer on artillery. But it, for that, that gives you all the, all the practice of those ships to find out what you feel more comfortable in because it's a lot more enjoyable to grind out ships that you enjoy other than ships that you dislike playing. So definitely stay in and recruit, grind out them tier 1s, grind out them tier 2s, and then, you know, then you can make your decision on which tier 3s you want to focus on all the way up to tier 5, you know. So, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into a, a Proven Grounds match here, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of give you guys a, a brief run through of the, like, kind of like an in-game uh, layout here. Kind of, kind of explain a couple of things that you might not know or you might know. It, it's kind of just to um, help you out at that point and kind of explain a couple of things like, you know, your health pool, your energy pool, uh, and stuff like that. So we're loading into a Proven Grounds match, and I'm going to go ahead and start off. I'm going to start off in an artillery cruiser. I'm going to start off in my Granada. And um, so with this... Uh, I'm going to kind of show you guys the menu layouts with the UI, um, explain a couple of uh, things, and um, we'll go back to Hangar and, and, and show you guys some other stuff. So first of all, you have power to engines, which helps you move, you know, it, it gives you increased mobility. You have your shields, which will help you with blocking damage and such like that. You have power to weapons, which will increase your reload speed and your damage. Now, notice that it drains your energy over here on the right side. Your right side where you see the number 39 is your energy, which will slowly recover over a certain amount of time. Um, off to the left here, you have your your health pool. Uh, every ship's going to have a different set of health pool. The yellow bar next to the health pool is your primary weapon ammo. The bar to the, the right over here next to the energy bar is your secondary ammo. Now, and at the top you see your three modules, and of course they have separate cooldown times for, you know, different modules have different cooldowns. Um, now, with that also being said, you also want to watch your, you want to watch your energy management. You never want to get caught in a situation where you don't have any energy to move around and stuff. Um, with this build, I'm using something called Last Resort, which, um is active when you have zero energy which I'll touch on the officer briefings um, shortly after this um, as, as you also see down here at the bottom right you have match time and you have your your score for the round top right is your mini map which will update when you call out ships and you can see your teammates and the enemies on the field we take a look at the end screen here now this was the same proven ground match I was just in a uh, a little bit earlier I went ahead and skipped ahead here and this basically kind of explains uh, your personal stats in the match it explains your rewards and it shows you the scoreboard so uh, first you'll see like the top three players here on best players um, this is just based off a of score in the match personal stats you'll see how you stacked up against the whole match and your personal team uh, in terms of certain things like double kills kills uh, weapon damage uh, stuff like that, so it's kind of like a little uh, uh, fluffing a little bit here. It's just kind of letting you know how you did in the match. Um, reward screen is going to tell you, basically it's going to break down uh, how you were rewarded XP based off your battle bonus, your win bonus, uh, they have a first one of the day bonus, elite status, and um, stuff like that. 
And then your scoreboard here, you can see how you stacked up uh, with the, the ending score. You can see how you stacked up against the enemy team. So now that we're back in Hangar, let's go ahead and uh, cover the Tier 3s. So you finally grinded out your Tier 2s. You got all your Tier 3s unlocked. Um, so you, you hop into your first Tier 3, and you see... You know, you, you see the, the the modules you have to work on and and stuff towards the towards your tier four. Now, officer briefings are something you're going to see once you get to tier three status, and that is going to be found right here. Now, this is something that needs to be touched on because when it comes to modules, modules and combinations of modules and ships are very important. But when it comes to officer briefings, these are these can make and break builds. And these are something you kind of want to focus on trying to get. You want to, preferably, you want to get all the officer briefings. Every single one of them have a very uh, useful play to them. But a couple of them I really want to touch on here is Retaliator. If you are a Dreadnought fan, you want to play Dreads, you want to be a Dread pilot, Retaliator is a must for you guys. Retaliator, um, as you can see here, Activation trigger shield takes damage. So when you take damage with your shields are up, it'll reduce your module cooldown It's a very important one to have Another good one here. Um, this is for you guys that are playing Corvettes or you're playing uh, The Ram destroyer or something along that sort of line uh, Desperate measures is what you want to pick up now desperate measures activates when health reaches 25% um, and the effect basically removes the debuffs, refills your energy, and resets all your cooldowns. So it kind of basically gives you a um, a quick, you know, reset to everything while you're you're about to die, and you can kind of uh, force out a, a, a bit more damage. Um, and then, so for Retaliator, Retaliator is found on the T4 Heavy Dreadnought, the Jutland. Um, Desperate Measures is found on the T4 medium artillery cruiser from Akula Vector called the Muramets. Um, these two are two that you really want to try to focus on getting uh, for the communication slot of officer briefings. Now we take a look at the weapons ones. You have Destruction Cascade, which recently got buffed come to Steam. Um, basically when you destroy an enemy, you get a 30% weapon boost for 20 seconds. Now this is found on the T4 heavy corvette from a Kula vector called the Streebog. Um, it's a very good um, officer briefing and I use it on a fair bit of my ships. Um, Glass Cannon recently got a massive buff. This is for all you artillery guys out there. This is an amazing officer briefing. This used to have a negative and now it doesn't. So now it's 20% bonus weapon damage when you're at full health. Now perfect for you guys that are staying at range with artillery. This is found on the T4 Light artillery cruiser the Knox uh, from Oberon the next is a very this this officer briefing is very very important because you will see this on a lot of your builds this is called module amper now this is when energy is set to weapons when you use a module module damage and healing so if you use it with repair pods is increased by 30 percent so if you were to set power to weapons then launch your goliath torpedo on your destroyer at an enemy it's going to do 30 percent more damage than it already does and that is just it's it's amazing it's one of the best uh, it's one of the best officer, brief, officer briefings you can get in the game and this is found on the t4 heavy destroyer the blood from the akula vector line so definitely want to look into getting this for and this is pretty much this is going to be on a lot of your builds um so let's take and this is all for weapons so let's take a look at navigation um Navigation's gonna have a couple here. Uh, slow and steady for you guys that are tanking. Um, you guys that are running dreads, like you're running the Voro line or the Chernobog line for the T3 medium dreads. Um, this is found on the Chernobog itself. This is the slow and steady is gonna give you a damage resistance increase of 10%, and it's gonna slow your movement speed by 10%. Now this you factor in the damage resistance with let's say a module like Armor Ramper. So let's say you look at module amper here. It's 85% damage resistance increase. If you stack that with slow and steady, that increases it to 95% damage resistance. That's a lot of damage resistance. And at, at the higher tiers, you can get that thing up to 100% where for a certain amount of time, you take zero damage unless you're disrupted. And it's amazing for tank builds. 
So uh, we'll move on here to nav expert, uh, navigation expert. I I find this to be a useful module. For, I mean, a useful officer briefing for certain ships like the the medium arty and the light arty. They're really nice to have. Um, energy consumption is um, halved when you have power set to engines, but your energy consumption is 30% more when you put it onto power to weapons or shields. But for that 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 um that negative pros cons balance right there it's very good for when you want to stay on the move and um you want to burn less energy to constantly keep in motion which is very nice to have of uh, nerves of steel is when i've recently started using a lot more and i've gained a lot more respect for it it's a very good officer briefing so let's see here you got a take uh the active condition is take damage while energy is set to engines uh the effect it gives you is boost movement speed by 200 percent it reduces damage by 5%. That's when you take damage while power to engines is active. Now, this is very good for some of the builds, um, like some of the destroyers out there. If you wanna, you're in the middle of a firefight and you wanna quickly uh, be able to maneuver to get behind cover or something, this is great for that because you'll get that big speed buff so you can just drop down a lot quicker and maneuver in the battle a lot faster. It's very nice to have. Um, now this one, is engine rigor now this is going to double your movement speed but it's also going to really burn through your energy this is for you guys that are running like corvettes want to get in there fast and hard or basically for rammer builds this is this is one of those must because it's going to make you just basically burn across the map as fast as you can go and it gets pretty ridiculous when you stack it with thrust stamp on a vindicta now so we go back here and we look at nav expert nav expert is found on the t4 medium corvette uh from oberon called the medusa nerves of steel is found on the t4 medium destroyer from jupiter arms called the vigo and engine rigor is from the t4 light destroyer from oberon called the vindicta um, and that'll be it for navigation ones that you want to look at uh next is engineering and like i said these these officer briefings are going to be a big help to you guys and once you're able to start grinding out those tier fours to unlock them, you definitely want to. If if anything, if you found a set of T4, uh, a T4 ship that you like, you definitely want to try to grind out grind out the officer briefings. That way, you can have a more enjoyable time using good briefings to run that ship. Um, so let's see here. First of all, get on my good side. Like I said earlier, with Retaliator and Slow and Steady and stuff like that. These are going to be, this this thing, get on my good side, is great for pretty much all the ships. For destroyers, for tacticals, for dreads, uh, pretty much anything is going to benefit from get on my good side. Get on my good side basically gives you one energy per 400 damage taken when you're shot from the sides. Now, for you guys running dreads with retaliator, basically this thing is giving you energy as you tank and take damage cycling your shields cycling in the energy which you could throw into shields to, to use retaliator to get some cooldowns down so this is like perfect combination of officer briefings here and this is found on the t4 light corvette from jupiter arms known as the falcor uh, this is amazing officer briefing that it's one of those must you must get like module amper and retaliator it, it's a must have um Another one to throw out there is Last Resort. Um, recently, with Last Resort, it was added uh, as a Steam launch. I it is a very good. Let's see here, I I want to say that it's very very useful for artillery, but I have found some use for it for destroyers as well. When your energy becomes zero, you get a faster reload speed and a faster rate of fire. And for artillery, um, there are modules like rapid fire mode that drain your energy, but it give you increased rate of fire. This would automatically proc when you activate the rapid fire, draining your energy to zero, giving you that increased reload speed and fire rate, giving you a, a lot more uh, time to use that rapid fire mode and get more shots down the down the range there. So last resort is found on the T4 heavy dread or T4 medium dread. I'm sorry. A Kula Vector line, the Verones. And um, that'll be pretty much it for the officer briefings. Um, like I said, you guys really want to take time to start working on energy management and, and find stuff that you enjoy playing. Now, this is going to be kind of a, a light starter guide. I am working on a, a bigger in-depth one 
uh, for the future. But I just kind of wanted to throw this out there because I know there's a lot of you new players that are coming to the game. You're excited to play and you'd like a little bit more information. So this was for you guys and see you next time.